So what is Litecoin? Well, I'm going to explain to you what Litecoin is, um, some of the benefits of Litecoin over Bitcoin, as well as how you can get started using Litecoin and how, you know, it, and how it makes sense for you. So what is Litecoin? Litecoin is the, a cryptocurrency and it is uh, Litecoin to Bitcoin is go to silver, as some people have drawn that comparison. Not everybody agrees with that parallel that's been drawn, but it's been drawn. Um, also, Litecoin is uh, the second has the second largest market share following Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has a seven billion dollar market share right now, and uh, Litecoin has um, 0.4 billion uh, USD in uh, in its market cap. Uh, and also, Litecoin was created in 2011 as a lighter and faster and improved version of uh, of Bitcoin, essentially. So that's basically what Litecoin is. It's you know um, another cryptocurrency. Um, and I think it has staying power. Um, so some of the benefits of Litecoin over Bitcoin is uh, one. It is much faster as far as the confirmations uh, when you receive money. So if somebody sends you money through Litecoin, generally you'll see it in your digital wallet within a couple minutes versus with Bitcoin, 10, 15 minutes. Now, it may not sound like a huge deal, but just from personal experience, people like to see their money sooner than later. Um, the second thing is uh, that makes it really um, nice is that it has the potential to be a lot more decentralized, which is a good thing. Uh, and the reason for that is because um, the mining process, which is the process in creating new coins, it's a lot uh, quicker and also the barrier of entry to do that is a lot less. So essentially what happens is with Bitcoin, um, because the barrier of entry is a lot higher, you have fewer people doing it. And usually when um, the people controlling money is a lot much smaller group, um, there could be potentials of fraud and whatnot, um, which there's safeguards within Bitcoin, but um, the potential to have it decentralized is a lot, is a lot greater. And, also, and bear in mind too that um, one of the primary reasons for cryptocurrencies is people were getting tired of the centralized fiat currency system. And usually with the centralized systems, you know, the opportunity for fraud. I mean, look at, you know, the history of like Bank of America and some of these other banks. You have um, uh, chief execs on that level committing frauds and you hear about once in a while. So, you know, Litecoin basically minimizes that uh, um, uh, a lot more. And then the other thing that makes Litecoin kind of nice compared to Bitcoin is just the practicality in the perception uh, when you're spending um, when you're spending money. If I'm buying a loaf of bread, I don't want to pay 0. 0.000 whatever uh, bitcoins. It makes a lot more sense. It's easier for me to pay a quarter of one Litecoin. Now these days, most merchants have a live. Um, uh, you know, uh, currency translation. So they'll translate the country's native currency into the equivalent of Litecoin or Bitcoin. So it's not necessarily a problem right now, but in the long run, I could see that as one of the uh, benefit, uh, benefiting factors of Litecoin. Um, so, you know, so that was what Litecoin was and also what Litecoin is and also what the benefits of Litecoin are now how do you get started with litecoin well um you will go to uh litecoin.org um, and i'll post a link to that so you know you don't run to uh, i guess a different website but you would download the wallet the digital wallet digital wallet and um it's available for windows mac uh, as well as linux so that's a uh, mix of you know pretty flexible so you would download the wallet and then after you have the wallet you probably want some uh coins in it so what you would do from there is go to one of those um exchange uh, uh one of those currency exchanges that do cryptocurrencies one of the ones i recommend is uh btc-e.com um yeah, they're pretty reputable. However, I probably would advise uh, to don't leave more than a couple thousand dollars um, at any given time in the exchange, especially since uh, at the time I'm making this video right now, Mount Gox, which is one of the largest um, Bitcoin exchanges, they're filing for bankruptcy and one that had money in there. 
uh, their money's gone, basically. So for your own uh, safety and precaution, I recommend transferring a couple of thousand at a time, uh, yeah, or, or less. Um, and then from there, you can uh, you have that deposited into your digital wallet. And I'll post some uh, some pictures of how the digital wallet looks like as well, so it's not this you know, uh, intimidating thing. So hopefully um, my explanation of what Litecoin is, how some of the benefits and how you can get started, hopefully that was helpful. And if you found uh, this useful, um, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, go to my website, yanhuang.me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, uh, Google Plus, and make sure you subscribe to my mailing list because I uh, provide a lot of cool uh, insight uh, on my mailing list that I don't share anywhere else.